Yeah. So look what I'm going now. You know, Calabash, I have shook up some food in the day and look at it, fall out the door. But, sister, who I always get I produce from, I have a number of her. I'm not sure you say one of the reasons why I always support her is because of how she's willing to go above and beyond for her customers. And is a very personable person. You know what I mean? I don't know a real woman to see me so if somebody rule her, whatever she got. But I can call her, tell her what I want, and she can have my thing ready. So all I'm going to do is just go in the market and pick it up. And I hate that. So even in a rain, nothing will stop it. And anybody who in the vicinity there, can support her. Do support her because it's a woman where it's a serious business woman. I have a, I have a, I have a big up entrepreneurs out there. You know what I mean? And see them as entrepreneurs. You know, the true fullness of the world. Yeah, in the end. I want two ripe planting. Yeah. Two jelly. Yeah. I want a bone glass skeleton. Yeah. Yeah, man. Simple as that. So that is all. You know, my color wash I do. That is all. Push I do. I cook. And the island can do that same way. Yeah, man. You don't know the time for pick up them things. You know, you see. Welcome Jamaica, welcome world. Welcome to another episode of Dinamo Calabash with I, I push. Where I tell is vital. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, please do so. Go straight to YouTube right now and subscribe to the Dinamo Calabash page as well as the notification bell. At any time you see the bar episode, you can get it right away. We will be preparing. Pumpkin brown eyes. I gotta have green split peas. I gotta have aki and sea moss. With some, with some um, juice now. Juice is a, it's mommy, mommy food. So they give me a bad fountain and see a youth pan in the roadside and sell mommy food. And we decide to buy some. So it's mommy food um, with coconut water. Cane juice and ginger. Nothing now. Nothing now. Dad, trust me. Hey, bro. The brown rice is soaked because some people, especially people who want a vegetarian or a vegan, if you know, soak the brown rice, you get it soft enough. And oftentimes, that's one reason why some people. You turn off and go there. Where do you? I'll go. Drink up. Drink up. So you know, we're Caribbean people, no matter what, we're going to wash the rice. You know where we're going. Pumpkin rice, I'll sip so. I'll put up a pumpkin. Again, that's how it's here. Like, wash off the thing, the most Caribbean people. Yeah, we just dice up the pumpkin. So it can crush out easily. You know, I gotta deal with it. Yeah, so we're gonna throw in the young king some early to see if we can go on. Get some of that steam with the rice, I get soft up steam. Alright, so earlier we soaked so a pack of green split peas. Uh, we are going to put it on right now for it to cook and get the process started. Pre soaked, we have pimento seed, we have garlic, and we have some pimento seed leaves in it as well. Alright, so we are going to wash off a piece of ginger here and crush it out and add it to the stew.
All right, so we're gonna type out vegetable or food kind of pumpkin, chocha. Find say, enough nutrients still in the skin. So even if you don't cut it up, or put it in the skin. Now the stew, you know the skin. What I'm gonna do is just dice up the skin then. Fine, and also add that to overall stew. So, dice up. It's a chocha. I said it's a chocha skin and the pumpkin skin. I'm going to show that in the next two. Let that walk forward. Let's see. The Caribbean people we love wash off a thing there, so we stay. Yeah, car. Uh, food thing, a serious thing. Apart from keeping the taste real and, 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 and similar to what we know as you, um, there's, there's a lot of nutrients mm -hmm. in the salts from the sea that we are incorporating our food. You know, so as above, so below. Palm land in the sea. And that's how you see most of them things, the sea vegetables that they make. So we have unland vegetables, we have sea vegetables over here. You know, forget the nutrients and the salts. So the sea would have where the land would have. Mm. That's all right. Yeah, so we're about to start out the Aikai and Seamus. I'm waiting for the last sip of water. Melt out so you can pour the oil. Pull the press coke and oil again. Seamus from Water St. Thomas. Mm. 
again, the secret to taste the vegan food is timing when you put it in the seasoning. Yeah, if you look at that smell, that thing right now. Proper. Yeah. Proper. The visuals can't tell you enough. You have to do yourself to smell it. I roam all the space. Sit up. You, you never know, sip up, so we don't put no pepper in that sip. Pepper in this tube, but it never burns. But you don't know. You need people with them more pepper. pepper. You can add pepper to them too. A fruit, yeah. A fruit, yeah. My mommy fruit. M A M E Y. Look it up on the internet, man. Google it. Mommy fruit is a very unusual fruit. Not many Jamaicans and many people know it. But give thanks to Aboriginal Knife, I Ice Aboriginal Knife, who introduced me to this thing from Taylor days. So the juice today is going to be mommy, coconut water. I put a piece of ginger in there and some cane juice in there for you that type of balance so the juice natural nutritious and nice sweet so to speak i don't know when i grew up on them type of thing and i simple sugars so i don't know something more i give with diabetes and them things they like the processed sugar them over there and them i drink yeah, them tin juice and them box juice and them buckle juice you see i Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make bash proper man. I think I'm gonna need seconds, you know. Okay. Yeah, so I'm Sahai and I'm sitting in an Inami Kalabash. And you have to be here to understand the taste when we just encounter and experience it is a life tasting experience my journey started from about age eight i had a rasta father and everything about him was about rastafarian living kalaloo every kind of veggie can think of but you know it go, you walk through and you get exposed to the Western culture and you taste and you eat and you double and you get stuck for a while. So there was a time when I was very much into the chicken, curry goat. I used to love curry goat like, wow, oxtail. Never too double with the pork, but you know, me taste it, me know what it is like. But right through the years, I made go to and from with vegan food. Still I eat the chicken, still I eat the fish. Then my body just start feel weird, like it just feel like it reject everything. The only thing I would eat and not feel sick about is vegetable and fruits. And I struggled with the idea of, I wonder if it really just the way it should be. Why am I forcing things into my body where after I eat it, I just feel heavy, I feel sluggish. Coffee, me a fair drink coffee three times a day. Energy weak, energy low, there is no energy. 
And in more recent years, I started feeling like my body just naturally pushing me towards how it's supposed to be fed. So over the last year, I kind of cut back again from the chicken and the curry goat. Never really go back to the oxtail for some years now, but the curry goat and the chicken did stand up for it. And in the last year, I kind of said, all right, eating these things after, you know, you feel like it's just not digesting, you feel bloated, my belly doesn't feel push, right, you feel, I live by Melox and pepto Bismol and you just have to eat ginger with everything. And even so, it still not feel balanced. And I say, all right, let me cut back on the chicken, let me cut back on the curry goat, go on down to fish. Um, to be honest, the fish not do me nothing still because I'm Piscean and so you know that's a my side fish. But me still never feel wholesome. It never feel as satisfying as without it. So me say let me try a life without the fish. And in the last probably month, month and a half, I've gone fully, fully, fully vegan. Like, I just don't want to see nothing with blood in it. Nothing. I really think them things are still a cause a lot of the aggression in our food and society. They might eat too much of the meat and the meat I get all kind of way in them body. But anyway, not a time for that. So the vegan life, the vegetable, the fruits, green juice, blendings, stew, you can cook it all kind of way, eat it raw, and you find say you just feel good, you're full of energy, your mind just a work like it just won't produce, it just won't create, and you're not afraid to take no supplement. So then you realize that everything really come back to where you eat. So today on this feature with my brother, DMS, Kush, Richard, it's almost like the universe just aligned him up with me because I just had a meal with him that he made, he created it and it's like heaven, heaven, heaven on earth. And if you really check it, everything is in the plant, so you really don't need to go far to find what you need to give your body because your body talk and your body tell you exactly what it needs and it should be heading so we just need to start listening to our bodies more i don't have that bloated feeling anymore i don't have it i don't take melax i don't have to drink no pepto bismol i don't take no medicine for the past month like everything is really just in the food so it go back to what chronic tell me you know let your food be your medicine your medicine your food can't wrong if you do that. Because we either eat to live or we eat to die. So we just need to start eating to live by staying green, staying fruit, staying vegetable. And you know that once you do that, the universe balance, your body balance, and everything good. So bless up one day in a Mikalabash vibes. Any day, any time, anyhow. This is the way to eat. And thanks for being and taking me on this journey. Really a good vibe. Ah, the juice, the juice, the juice. So you want to know some big up the juice even before the maker could I get a chance to do because the first sip of that mommy cane juice, the coconut water, the blend. As I share with my brother, it's just three weeks ago I learned about the mommy and this may come right back in our hands and a mommy me get. Something about the mommy, something special about the mommy because the juice turn up the food. You never, you can't describe the food. The food is, as we say, taste, taste, taste. Everything you can think about in a meal was in that calabash a while ago. And more. Because I feel satisfied. I feel over empowered. In the meal or me just eat and the juice. Me good for the night, me probably good for tomorrow and for the rest of the week. But I really want him to come be my personal chef. Because this is what I want my life to be every day. Yeah? Yes. 
bless you for the videographers. <laughs> what about Jamaica? What about Red? Give thanks for staying tuned with us for this episode of Plum Color Wash. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will try me. I hope if you ever encounter the mommy food here, try it. Make the juice here because you can't take my red feet. You can't take Sahara's red feet. I'm poor. I assist you from Taylor. I'll up yourself. Thank you very much for coming in and spending the time with us. You and your beautiful sons, players and, and stars. Big thanks. Big up yourself, CMA, Lacko, Maxwell, and Brother.